So hello my dear Brudas and today you are going to see one more secret pass in the Kaiserreich. And yeah guys, today we are talking about the secret pass of the Russian Empire. But first we will start as the Russian Republic with Alexander Kerensky. My previous video with this secret pass was deleted because YouTube didn't understand my jokes, so today this video will contain a minimum amount of jokes. Sorry brothers, but I can't release it in other way. And I recommend you to play with this secret pass as fast as you can, cause probably after the Russian rework it will be fully deleted in the game. So try this, because now you can do it. So without any other boring information, let's start our campaign and as always, enjoy! A troubled history. You probably remember this event, but I'll tell you again. So there you can read about the Russian Civil War, how white forces have defeated red forces, and what has happened next. Oh, and there you can see picture за единую Россию. So the first important event in our campaign is going to be the aftermath of the assassination of Kerensky. There you need to choose the fourth option, Carnival of Storms Moscow, the streets run red with blood. The second important scene is going to be right after that, the Carnival of Affair. And there you need to send Worst go away and you need to bring Marshal Dnikin instead. So you saw in the name of the video that we're going to bring the Black Tsar. And no, it's not gonna be African Tsar or something like that, no. That's going to be just Pyotr Wrangel, cause he is a Black Baron. That's why he is called a Black Tsar. And he is going to form his own dynasty, Wrangel dynasty. Unsurprisingly, the Alash autonomy declares independence. It's not a problem, we're going to destroy them a little bit later. Important information about our focus tree line while Kornilov is in power of Russia, you can search whatever you want, it won't affect on our secret pass. But I can really recommend you to go to the bureaucratic overhaul or if you want to concentrate your view on army, just go by army modernization. But you will always have an option to modernize army, so now really go by the bureaucratic overhaul. First, woman's division of deaths. No, woman must be in the kitchen, not in the army. This is unacceptable. Finally, it's March 1937 and we got even Kornilov's death. And between those two dudes, between Denikin and Wrangel, you need to choose Baron Wrangel, Relius, the reformists' officers. And boom, now Petr Wrangel is a ruler of Russia. And yeah, there you can see Petr Wrangel, the Black Baron his title. And yeah, we choose the autocracy. Pretty familiar scene to Russia, you know? The choice is yours. And as you can see by the moment of the Kornilov's death, I have almost fully searched the bureaucratic overhaul, and that's pretty good, you will understand why in the future. But now we will go to the political stabilization, and the most important scene is that you shouldn't restore the monarchy. I'll explain why. Because if you choose option to restore the monarchy right now, you will get Romanov's dynasty and you will just normally restore monarchy in Russia. But if we want to bring the Black Baron to the power, we need to go now by the firm hand. And when we will get event of the coronation of Wrangel, you will secondly unlock the option restore the monarchy and just go by his imperial focus tree line. So we will search it in the future, now just go by the firm hand as fast as you can, cause in the future it will be blocked. So now after searching a focus of firm hand, your main goal now is just, you know, to search all these focuses and do nothing before I show you the next important event. So now you just need to develop Russia, as we did before. 
Guys, if you did everything right, in a year I got it in the 7th of March. In your situation it could be a little bit later, but still. One year has gone since the Carnilov has died, and you will see this option, the final step. With Wrangel being in the power for such a long time, many people are suggesting that a formal coronation should take place. Terribly terribly legitimizing his authority over Russia. If you choose a foolish proposal, he will live as just a leader of Russia, okay. But if you choose the second option, we will become a Russian Empire. Now we're the Russian Empire, a normal flag of the Russian Empire, yeah. And boom, now his portrait is changed and now he is Potter the Force Wrangel. And also, if you did everything correctly, you will finish searching the state revanchism, as in my case. And after that, boom, restore the monarchy has automatically uh, been uh, searched and you will have option uh, in which you can decide between the imperial glory or a constitutional monarchy. In the Russian case, to really play a real uh, one uh, Russian leader, I can recommend you to search the imperial glory, cause you know, Russia, autocracy, imperial glory, so on. A constitutional monarchy for Russia is cringy, so go by the second step. And right after that, you can go by the expansionist focus tree line, plus you can search a research investments to get one more research slot. It's a pretty good option too. So in year 1938, you will research a lot of good things in this Russian pass. But that's still not the end. The main option is clicked, but we've got a few more important options and advices. So my next step after finishing the state revanchism is research investments. And now we will fully search the Imperial Glory Focus Tree line. It's only four focuses, as you can see. Imperial Glory, the Voice of the Tsar, Neoslavism and Rationalized Laws. And why did I say to search only those two focuses instead of searching it? Because you can see that it won't give any good buffs and it takes 70 days, so don't search it, it has no sense. We are rationalizing all our choices, so we need to choose Neoslavism, because we will uh, grow the complements, grow speed and rationalize the lows, you see it will give us good buffs too, so these two must be searched. So, if you choose my strategy, at the beginning of January 1939, you will search the whole political focus tree line, almost all bureaucratic overhaul focus tree line, and now it's the best time to go with army modernization and uh, expansionism policy. Because you see, now your country is developed, now you got a lot of military factories, civilian factories, you got a lot of needed buffs in your national spirits, the first thing that you can do next is going to be capturing the Central Asia and after that preparing to the Second World Krike. Or maybe deal with the trend some more. But the most important thing is that you are well prepared and you have the secret black Tsar in Russia, who is ruling it and he is moving Russia to the glory and taking back all lands that were the parts of the Russian Empire.